Hi, welcome back to Salesforce Lightning Development. This is Lakshmi Deepak with you. And today we will, uh, that means uh, I just want to talk about what is Salesforce One Lightning and what is the framework and so on. So what exactly we have in Salesforce. And of course, uh, this should be something like a theoretical. Hope it gives some more information. If not, just leave a comment there. We will get back on some practical oriented. So let's move forward. So here we see my presentation and this is a Salesforce One Lightning and the presented by Lakshmi Deepak and I'm the admin for Salesforce Developers India. I mean the Facebook page and it's nothing just for the namesake. I'm just going forward and this is my overview of Salesforce Lightning. Okay, what actually is Salesforce Lightning? We are increasing multiple devices worldwide. So we have to create a lightning to make it easy to build responsive application for any screen. Lightning includes a number of exciting tools for developers such as, okay, where you can see lightning components gives you a client server framework that accelerates development as well as app performance and is ideally for use with the Salesforce One mobile app. And when it comes to the next, a lightning app builder empowers you to build apps visually without a code quicker than ever before using off the shelf and custom build functionality. And using these technologies, you can seamlessly customize and easily deploy new apps to build a mobile on running Salesforce One mobile app. In fact, the Salesforce One mobile app itself was built in with lightning components. And this, I mean to say, here you know, you want a standalone lightning apps as well as a custom lightning component that can be used in with Salesforce One mobile app. You will also be learning that how the package application component and distributed from different environments and different ways that we can look into. And this just an overview void lightning framework and lightning is just a event based, I mean say event driven functionality and it's very pretty, awesome GUI and everything. It's look very good. And when co goes to the next and the objective. I mean to say, what is lightning component framework? I, I mean to say, here we are, all we are considering about what is this framework and we have all the frameworks there, the Salesforce and uh, Apex, everything we have. And still why we are talking about lightning framework? Hey, lightning framework, I mean to say, the component framework is a UI framework. I mean to say, the lightning component framework is an UI framework for building and developing and dynamic web apps for mobile and desktop devices. It's a modern framework for building a single page application. As lightning is a single page application, SPA, where engineered for growth. The framework supports a pet multi tied component development that bridge Bridge the client and server, it uses a JavaScript on the client side, Apex on the server side. As we know, the client side validation, we are handling everything with the JavaScript and here the JavaScript plays a vital role in Lightning where it every component actions or component events, it will capture through a JavaScript and from there we have to connect to the server where we have to putting information or invoking the server side. I mean, it is a server side refers is an Apex. So we are just distributing from the Lightning Framework that there is a Aura components in the GUI, UI and the cloud. on top of that, uh, I mean to say on bottom of that we have JavaScript, a client side controller and for a database connectivity or Salesforce connectivity we have server controller where we have a communication like Aura component to JavaScript, JavaScript to the light, I mean to say server controller, the same way vice versa, server to JavaScript, JavaScript to the Aura. Okay, why we, why we are using the Lightning Component Framework? Yes, we have out-of-box component sets, performance, event-driven architecture, faster development, device-aware and cross-browser for compatibility, where you can do. Comes with an out-of-box set of components to kickstart building apps. You don't have to spend your time optimizing your apps for different devices as a component that you can care for you that. Performance. When it comes to the performance, yes, I really appreciate it by Lightning Performance. and you. Uses a stateful client and stateless server architecture that relies on a JavaScript and a client side to manage UI component metadata and application data. Yes, it always uses a UI manage a component data with the JavaScript client side controller and application data. The framework uses a JSON to exchange the data between the client and the server. Yes, 
you, this is an important point. Generally, in Visual Force pages, we just call the data like list and everything. Here we try to use, yes, it also supports in some ways, but still the highly recommendation that we can use a Java, Java JSON format, some communication, data communication between the server to the client, it's really appreciable. And to maximize efficiency, the server side only sends the data that is needed by user. Yes, all, obviously we need, we don't want to send a bulk data which is unused in the GUI part. The how much user data needed that only we can push to the server, I mean to say the UI level. It will also increase the performance and the speed and everything. Intelligently utilizes your server, browser, device. as yes, Lightning intelligently utilizes your server browser and devices network so you can focus on the logic and the interaction of your apps when it comes to the event driven yes this is a pretty interesting topic in salesforce lightning is just an event driven the way how many events you want you can put it there and it will always act through events hey use this event driven architecture for better decoupling between the components yes we can do decoupling and we can put whatever we want i can say it is like a, light coupling it's not a complex coupled code complex coupled components it just in light individually better decoupling between the components any component can subscribe to an application event or to a component event they can see and yes you know the faster development when it comes to the faster development empowers team to work faster without out of box component the function seamlessly with the desktop and mobile devices Building an app with a component facilitated parallel design, improving overall de dependency efficiency. I'm sorry, improving a development efficiency and components are encapsulated and their internal stay private while their public shape is to visible consumers for the customer. The strongest separation gives a component others freedom to exchange the internal implementation details and insulates components customer consumers from the changes. What about device awareness and cross browser functionality? It's faster development. We will be looking into the next tutorial. I mean, it is the next to my video. Next to my video, we will be seeing a real transaction. What is faster development with the hard coded? That's really interesting when we're going forward. And as now, we can go and see what is, uh, we just try to understand what is device awareness and cross browser compatibility. Yes. Apps are so responsive and provide an enjoyable user interface. Yes, if you see this classic and the lightning, yes, we are feeling bit. And that means feeling bit something more which we are not getting Salesforce classic, which we are feeling some transactions that UI transactions is pretty much good in lightning. The Lightning Components Framework supports the latest browser technologies such as yes, it always supports HTML5, CSS3, and some other touch events we can say that yes uh, and hope and this is the time i can put off my video tutorial today and tomorrow i come across with a new implementation how to start a lightning development i mean to say how to implement how to enable lightning and uh, how to do your first lightning component how to preview and uh, what is the lightning application do what is javascript do what is event what is compound and what what is helper we will be seeing everyone step by step and as for now i just just an introduction of my next tutorial section of Salesforce Lightning. This is was my introduction for the next tutorial. The next video will discuss how to implement your first component. Hope you guys and thanks for please follow up. Stay tuned with me for a few updates on Lightning and share your knowledge and tips and tricks and to comment and please click on subscribe button. Thank you.